Well, hello there. Welcome to Gentleman's Carry. My name is Junior, and thanks for stopping by, gentlemen. So, I thought I'd share a dirty little secret there, with everyone here, on how to clean anodized titanium. So, what you see here in front of you is the Spyderco Spidey Chef. Now, I had this uh, anodized and modded slightly. If you've seen one of my previous videos on this here, uh, this here model. So that, that as you can see that the slabs here would generally be uh, on the stock version, the gray uh, natural titanium color. So these were anodized uh, aftermarket and I actually had the screws replaced uh, with the black version there. I took them out and put some titanium screws in there to replace the black version. So I went uh, ahead and modded this here guy and I really did uh, enjoy it uh, the way it turned out. But over time as you can see and I, this is one of many anodized knives that I have and I've used this here application on cleaning them uh, uh, on all of them and it works very nicely. So what you do is if you, you have on hand here just a general purpose old uh, Windex here uh, hopefully every home in America has one of these here. So one of my favorite cleaning supplies here is the Windex. Now this happens to be the ammonia free version here. So uh, actually we use this here for the uh, floors, the laminate wood floors and the wood floors. So they tell you to use this here for uh, not scratching them. But you can use either version on the knives and actually the ammonia version would be more effective on cleaning the uh, the, uh, the, the uh, surface here but it works with the ammonia free as well uh, just have to put a little bit more elbow grease into it perhaps you know be generous there you can be uh, frugal there with the uh, the Windex so what I'll do here so I just have a terry or a, a microfiber cloth here so I'm gonna have just go ahead and spray spray some some Windex in here And just go ahead and apply it to the surface here. Now you could tell, you could see all how all the oils in your hand over time it wears the. It doesn't wear it off, but the oils kind of adhere to the surface, and it loses the luster of the uh, of the anodization there that I spent a pretty penny on. So this here is a nice little quick fix application here to cleaning up anodized titanium or actually you can use this pretty much on any anodized surface generally speaking depending on this here is a smooth textured GT, or, um, titanium here surface these slabs you might have an issue with um, a bead blast finish perhaps say like a Chris Reeves uh, that, that he has more of a rough texture there and it'll be blast to finish on the on the texture of the slabs um, you may have an issue there with this application depending on um, the cloth that you use so I, I, you, I would use a more of a microfiber cloth versus a tissue I've seen some guys use a tissue or a, a paper towel which could it's going to rip the dang surface off when you're cleaning it uh, but it may or may not work. You may have to add much more to this to your pad here because it has the so many much more surface area there on the bead blast finish versus here on a on a, a plain surface. So I'm trying to get into all the nooks and crannies, and you can see the areas that you don't touch there around the pocket clip that are ill affected by your oils in your your hand there. They don't get it stays the uh, nice bronze finish there so there we have it let's see here you wait for it to dry you can see it drying now oh yeah see that finish coming back that's fantastic yeah. that's nice well that's the finish i chose on this here blade i i use this here on a number of other knives as well I really do like the contrast with the, 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 the 
the, the stainless or the titanium and the bronze. It's a nice uh, high contrast there. So there you go. Now you can see the before and after there from the beginning of the video to, to now. You can see that brings back the luster there. All with some Windex here. Who would have thought, right? Well, you can use Windex for pretty much dang anything. Glass, surfaces. I feel like a spokesman for Windex here. But it's great stuff. I use that thing, that stuff there for almost everything. And on the other side here, you can see it's, see that? Look at that. I got that lack of luster there. It's all, it's all dulled out. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's a, that's a, some use there. So it's been about, uh, about a month since I here clean clean the surface, but actually it does wear off pretty pretty soon there, depending on how oily your hands are. Um, so A little bit more here, a little bit more Windex here. Now, like I said, I I'm more uh, uh, finicky about how I clean my knives, and I uh, this here is a terry cloth that I use for the, for primarily cleaning the anodization with the Windex. So, so here's my Windex cloth. Oh, and before I forget as well, Junior, if you don't mind, if you could, please subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel grow. It tells YouTube that, well, you like this here gentleman's work. And if you don't mind as well, smash that like button. Smash it nice and hard. All right, look at that. You can see the luster there coming right in. So you can see the Windex there drying in real time, gentlemen. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now that's the other finish that I, that I bought. Yeah, that, that turned out very, very nice indeed. May have to do a little, the ends a little bit more here. Usually when you pull it out of the pocket here, it gets a lot of use here. Now if you've, you've now I, I obviously you could tell that the interior of the slabs here were also anodized. The whole thing got both slab, both sides. Uh, there's no real reason, obviously, to do the other side because it never gets any fingerprints there. No oils on the uh, titanium there. So you can see here, this gets dulled down as it gets a heavy use here. So let me know, Junior, have you used this here dirty little secret here to clean up your dirty anodized titanium or aluminum handles here? You can see how it's, it's drying right in real time. That's fantastic. Let's just watch it dry. There we go. So, as you can see, you can see the before and after there from the beginning of the video. Very nice. Well done. Well done, Junior. So, fantastic little tidbit there. Little uh, trade secret, if you will, for all of you uh, that are interested in cleaning your anodized handles there. So, let me know if it works out for you. And like I said, you can use either version. Uh, I generally have the other one on hand, but today I have the ammonia free. Well, uh, so I grabbed whatever was in the uh, cabinet there. So either version would work. Uh, this actually worked not too bad as long as you soak that the cloth pretty well. Don't be uh, too shy there with putting uh, a generous amount on the cloth and soaking it up uh, to clean the surface there. But there you go. There's uh, a 
cleaned, anodized, brands, dirty brands as they say it's called. But we here cleaned the dirty off and made it nice and clean. Well, thanks for watching, Junior. <laughs>